when it's a little bit safer to do so when things are opening up. Um, the only we'll reason I'm asking, case. and sorry to, to interrupt you, uh, no, you're good. it's because I know that Spotify and, and platforms and I know that you cannot, like, artists don't live off of their music only. Like, they have, I know that big artists, like, some people think, like, big artists make their money from how many albums they sold or how many songs they sold. And I, I think very little people know that they actually make not a lot of money from that as much as they do from endorsements, contracts, and whatever. Yeah. But how can you, how can musicians like you that are just breaking through, Uh, make money on Spotify when they have the rates that they have, the royalties that they have. Can you explain a bit more about what's going on with that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, so streaming streaming platforms in terms of like collecting money and royalties from from songs is hard, really hard for independent musicians. I think Spotify's rate for, per stream is it's like less than half a cent. I think it's like a like point zero zero three cents per stream. Wow. So if you think about that, you Even if you reach a million streams, you're what making like 3k. Yeah. And then if you backtrack that even further, you think about how much time is going into putting out one track. One track reads reaches a million streams, what it can take you up to a year to release a single. What you're going to survive off of $3,000 a year? Like no yeah, way. No, no, <laughs> no way. way. So I mean there's lots of there's lots of ways, different ways that musicians can, you know, try to monetize their art and what they're doing. Um I do some freelance work. I, I do top lining occasionally, which is someone will send you a beat and you write you write over it. Um, so that's a nice extra source of income. Audio ed editing, you can make an account on Sound Better. You can do mixing for people. Um, outside of that, like especially right now, it's it's pretty hard when you can't be doing gigs as frequently. Like obviously, gigs pay they pay the bills. That's why artists go on tour and artists yeah. do things like that to make the money to make their next record. But um, Yeah, there's lots of different revenues, but the streaming is not it. <laughs> like for the most part, that's not where you're going to make your money. It's more so, you know, if you're big in social media, like you'll get brand deals or sponsorships or, or stuff like that, you know. To I remember just... Tidal came out, came out and everyone was so pissed off that they were making everybody pay so much. And I mean, it was a good, a good like try because I get what Jay-Z and Kanye and all these people wanted to do. Like, okay, let's make music. Let's give musicians their worth. But I think that because of the way the market is right now, musicians' worth is counting in how many people just listen to them. Not how many times or how many listens or how many streams. Not how many people are listening to you because that's how many people you can influence. Right. And I feel audience. like that's where it's the title audience. model went wrong because it's like, no, people are not going to suddenly value music times 100 of what it was before. Right. So right. I, I, as much as I would love it to like, don't get me wrong. I would love for people to see the actual worth, what's worth behind a, a song like that you recorded or, you know, what goes behind the process. But I feel like the market now values a following, like the influence and it's music is starting yeah, to become sure. like a tool of influence. I mean, it's yeah, been exactly. a tool of influence. Yeah, always. I, I mean, I know some people that were, you know, really banking on title. <laughs> and when, when that yeah. came around, they had high hopes for it. But Unfortunately, I think it, we're just in a position now where it's been this way and getting people to change their minds on something that's as working, you know, theoretically for the public is is not going to be something that's easy to do. Um, I mean, there there's some other platforms that are, you know, trying to do similar helpful things for artists. Like I know Bandcamp, you can or Patreon, yeah. like platforms like that. Bandcamp, you can just donate to a, an artist that you are enjoying just just because, you know, Damn. Um. I know. So like a lot of artists, you just kind of have to <laughs> rely on the generosity of your audience and your public. But another huge thing is as much as you want the streams, you're not you don't want those for the money. You know, you want those to build an audience and a platform because that's eventually what's going to give you like the gigs and the and the brand deals and the partnerships and, you know, whatever you need to actually like maintain and support yourself in a career in the arts. So looking at it, the bigger picture, not just creating a song for people to listen to, but creating a song yeah, that's sure. going to be building up a, a piece of your image, basically. That exactly. And that's why, to, to kind of bring it back around, that's why something like building a marketing campaign is so important because you can, you know, drop the song and your friends and family will say ooh and ah, and it'll be exciting yeah. and you'll feel great about it. But if you're not reaching and growing and expanding and, you know, trying to bring in, you know, an audience and other people and, and build up your network and your following, then you're not going to go anywhere with it. It used to be that we associated with brands only and 
brands made up a big part of our identity. And now I feel like every single little thing that we consume somehow builds or, or destroys the identity that we have of ourselves. And I feel like uh, uh, people like listen to music nowadays with different expectations than they were before. And so now getting to a lot of people and, and, and it's only possible through some sort of campaign, like you said, How, what is special about this song? Is it the mm-hmm. cover? Is it the story of it? Is it what is the, the story behind it? Because there's so many songs out there. Why should I give a fuck about this one right. in particular? There has to be some sort of hook or like drawing in component. Yeah. Um, what would you do if you're not an artist? Because this is a question I get every day and I'll be telling them I'll probably be dead. <laughs> No, I, I yeah, couldn't I agree know. more. <laughs> uh, that's why I think, you know, I have a degree, like I said, in music and technology and the jobs that I'm applying for outside of, you know, making my music and doing that are audio engineering jobs. <laughs> and I think that's because, you know, the sound field, the audio like path is 